So as you probably know, SBT is an interactive build tool for Scala. You can download it from scalasbt.org. Just go to the download section and download SBT zip file or TGZ file, just doesn't matter. Just download it and extract the contents and then add the SBT executable to your path. I already did that and I already created a new empty directory and I'm just gonna start SBT in this directory. It starts almost immediately and if you start it the first time it will download lots of packages because everything that comes with this distribution package is basically the launcher and it will have to download the latest version of SBT and at the moment it is 0.13.11 if I remember correctly so okay SBT is a interactive build tool and you can type commands here for example you can take a look at the name of the project and SBT guessed the name of the project because it looked at the directory name and we created this we initialized it in a directory called sbt tutorial so sbt decided that sbt tutorial is the name of the project we can also inspect other settings for example scala version and by the way top completion works we can inspect the version of our project or organization name we can also change them if we use the set command, for example. If we don't like this organization name, which is uh, pretty reasonable, we can say flight, flight Scala Tutorials SBT and then just press enter and this setting will be applied. And then we can do the same thing with the Scala version. And let's specify Scala version to be 2.11.7, which is the latest version at the moment. And for example, let's just specify our project version as 1.0 snapshot. Okay, if we want to save our changes, we can just type session save and then we can exit the interactive shell and you see that we have a new file called build sbt. Let's take a look at this file. Basically, it says all the things that we specified when we were playing in the interactive shell. And let's assume that we want to create a new file. And in this respect, SBT just follows the Maven conventions. So we can just go ahead and create a new directory. And then we can create a new file inside this directory called hello spt let's open this file in the editor and type something let's create an object and let's create a new method And it will be a very simple method. Just simply prints the greeting. That's all. And then we can start SBT again. And let's try to compile the project. Okay, it's compiled and then we can run it. 
all right it works but what if we want to add some third-party library to our project and in order to illustrate it i'm just gonna go to jota.org and go to releases dependency info and look for maven coordinates and actually in this case in jota time website provides the coordinates for sbt so i can simply copy this line and paste it in my build sbt file and if we change our build sbt file we need to reload everything and after that i can go to the scala interpreter and the good thing about this is that in this session of the interpreter i have access to all my files defined in my project as well as all the different classes from third-party libraries that were specified as dependencies for example i can import org jota time and basically i'm just gonna import everything and then i can create a new date time and you see that it was created but there were several warnings and that's very good because i want to illustrate how to add another library so basically in order to get rid of these warnings i can just go ahead and add another library called joda convert to my project and here i can simply use plus plus equals instead of plus equals and here i will just create a new sequence and then again i can with this Scala interpreter, reload the project. And then let's go to the interpreter again, just import to the time and create date time. And you see that uh, the warrants are gone. So everything is great. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to show you is the ability of SBT to watch for file changes. So for example, now we are in the SBT interactive shell and I can say, I can use this uh, funny character and then say compile. And it will say that it's waiting for source changes. And then I can just put it here. So you will see what's happening and then just open my text editor and i can start changing the file for instance i can say hello my dear sbt and when i press save it will be recompiled and then if i delete it again it will be recompiled again as you can see sbt is actually pretty simple so you have no reason not to use it with your Scala projects. If you want to learn more about SBT, you can go to my website, appliedscala.com, or you can go to LeanPub and check out my book called Modern Web Development with Scala. And both links will be in the description for this video.